السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. We have a beautiful hadith that has been collected in the Jami of Imam Al Tirmidhi, as well as the Sunan of Imam Al Nasai, رحمهم الله. May Allah have mercy on both of them. This hadith has been reported by the illustrious companion Abu Huraira رضي الله عنه وأرضاه. May Allah be pleased with him. In which he states that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Al-haya' shub'atu min al-eeman. That haya' shyness is a branch from faith. In another riwayah, in another narration, the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam uses the words, Al-haya' min al-eeman. That haya, shyness, modesty is from iman, from faith. What are the conditions? What do we understand? And how do we implement an increased level of shyness and modesty within ourselves? You find, my dear brothers and sisters, that we live in a time in which shyness is not seen as a virtue anymore. No one sees an individual who is shy as being praiseworthy. Rather, shyness, modesty, is seen as a vice, as a problematic and troubling characteristic and trait, as a trait in which a person who shows this behavior, shyness and modesty, we fear for them, that, that it means that they will be taken advantage of in the future. And we try to force our brothers and sisters to speak up for themselves and to express themselves and to make demands. My dear brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created each and every one of us in a unique way. Perhaps you are able to speak up for yourself and to demand things and you have presence in a room when you walk in Everyone knows who you are and that you have arrived. However, there are those from among us, and I would like to think that I am from among them, who are extremely shy and modest. We do not like to be seen. We do not like to be heard. You may say to yourselves, how is it the case that you are a public speaker and you are shy? Trust me, many of our public speakers are extremely shy to stand and to speak in front of the people. But it is out of a religious conviction and a belief that we are working for the sake of Allah and we seek goodness in our communities that we step forward in front of the microphone and on top of the pulpits on Fridays. If you find that you have friends or relatives who are shy and who are very easy to offend, who are very reserved, then make it your business to stand up for them rather than pushing them and forcing them to act outside of their character. The Messenger of Allah once saw a companion who was berating his brother because of his shyness. He was lecturing him and saying, get rid of this trait, get rid of this behavior. You must speak up for yourself. You must stand up for yourself. And he was berating him, yelling at him, shouting at him. The Prophet ﷺ interrupted and said, al haya shub'atu min al-iman, that certainly shyness and modesty is a branch of faith. Leave your brother, for indeed, this is from the aspect of faith and belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those from among us who are not too shy should find ways to practice and implement more modesty in our speech, in our attire, and in the ways in which we interact with one another. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to increase our haya and our level of shyness. For indeed, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has been described as being more shy than a virgin girl. We ask that Allah send his finest peace and blessings on our beloved Prophet, Allahumma salli wa sallim ala nabiyyina Muhammad.
سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك